Hey guys, just filming an NV4500 update video. Uh, we're just heading up to the shop right now. Uh, truck's over here. It's uh, just waiting to be, uh, ha or have the transmission swapped onto it. Everything's the same in it from the last video. Uh, it's it's uh, ready to go because uh, we've got all those plastics in and stuff. It's gonna make the swap a lot faster. I'm really glad that I did that. Uh, so we've been busy working on the garage here. Uh, we never had any windows in this when we bought it, so there we got a window there, window on the other side. We've been really busy working on uh, the snowmobile, my snowmobile, other one over there, uh, my other windmills that you've or my windmill that you've seen me updating on. I've done that, uh, but yeah, we're here to show you about the NB4500 and what. Uh, just give you guys a little update on it. So, just to make this a uh, quick update, we've got right here from my uh, buddy Daryl. Thank you. Uh, we got a sweet transmission jack here. That's going to make the job super easy. It's got the tilt tilt on it here and back there, so I can tilt that plate, and uh, it's going to make it super super easy to put that transmission in and out. I uh, I hope. Uh, over at the transmission. I got a couple shift extensions, a four inch and a 10 inch. I threaded them together just to be that guy, just for fun right now. But anyways, I'm hoping to run the four inch. It's only about that much longer just to make it just that little bit longer. Or maybe I won't want it, but uh, they were 10 bucks or something to buy them. So I bought them. Uh, input shaft, uh, drive shaft. I'm just gonna swap out my double carton joint into it and in U-joints because they, uh, we're all redone there last fall. It cost me a bit of money to do that. I did everything special. The special rubber piece that goes over the ball to keep dirt and grime from going in it that nobody seems to have on theirs. But uh had to get that from the States. So, uh, yeah, we got that. Uh, got the steering column here. Since mine has like a quarter inch of play and the steering wheel bangs, bearings are shot this one is perfect so I'm just oiling it up and everything spins nice it's also got tilt steering so that'll be nice to have in the truck uh, I'm waiting for a pivot ball spring for the clutch fork my grandpa got that because you had to get it from a Dodge dealer that had it in stock so one near his house had it so I got him to go pick it up so that'll be coming up today with me I was down visiting him so she's bringing that up uh, I got to get the alignment tool for the clutch for the input shaft to line up the clutch. And I think that's everything. Besides, uh, I got a Felpro. Uh, that's for your rear main seal housing. Because why not replace your rear main seal when you're in there? And there's a bit of uh, oil wecking around on that front inspection cover on my torque converter. So I imagine it's leaking a bit. Probably. Uh, so. I got Felpro rear main seal. Felpro has a good name. Uh, I, I've always had good luck with their stuff, so uh, hopefully it's a good seal. Uh, it looks to be good quality. So yeah, I think that's uh, about all for the NB4500 update, guys. Uh, just wanted to show, let you know uh, it's about Christmas here right now, just before Christmas, a couple days before, and uh, as long as it keeps not snowing like it is outside it's just been kind of not snowing so uh it's just been cold so the lakes are gonna get good for for me as you know i like to get out on that thing so if there's no snow i'm probably gonna start on this swap in uh early january and hopefully get that in so within the next few weeks you guys will be uh seeing me start the swap so uh I think I got everything, all the parts located, and I'll try and make a thorough swap video for you guys. And thank you again for your support. And uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please rate and subscribe. And uh, I really appreciate that. Thanks, guys.